Alrighty guys, we're back for some Mono Black Rat King, and this is a Phyrexia All Will Be One Standard Broom. We're going to go over the deck then hop right into some ranked, but first things first, for anyone who may not know, I'm Red Cat and I play aggro decks and any decks with red in them as well, so I hope that sounds fun to you. Also, we do got that Discord link down in the description if you're interested in joining that up. Okay, what do we got in the build here? This one's based around Karumonix, the Rat King. This is a 3-mana legendary creature. It's a 3-3 three, three, Toxic 1, and other rats you control have Toxic 1. And then whenever Karumonix enters the battlefield, look at the top 5 cards of your library. You may reveal any number of rat cards from among them and put the revealed cards into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. A pretty solid card overall, guys. I want all four of them in here, even though it's legendary, but if you're sketched out by having four of the same legendary, drop it down to three and add, like, a piece of removal or something. So, um, yeah, I really want to see this card today, though. All right, what else do we get in here? Early removal with three cutdowns. We have four gnawing vermins. Really only in here because it's a rat. We're not too concerned with the abilities on here. Got four Okiba Reckoner Raids, which eventually turns into a Rat Rogue, which is uh, pretty cool. It's a 2-2 Menace, and then vehicles you control have Menace, so it works well with the Reckoner Bank Buster, right? Got a couple of those, mainly because it's an artifact, which we'll go over in a second. We have four Tribute to Horobis here. This is a two-mana saga, and for the first two chapters, each opponent creates a 1-1 Black Rat Rogue creature token. And then for the third chapter, it flips into Echo of Death's Whale, which actually is not a rat. It is just a spirit. 3-3 three, three Flying Haste. When it enters the battlefield, you gain control of all rat tokens. Whatever Echo of Death's Whale attacks, you may sacrifice another creature if you do draw a card. So that's a cool way to get a couple extra rats onto your side of the board. But then we have a couple ways to proliferate in here too with Drown and Ichor. So you might be able to get through these sagas a little bit faster. There's not too many ways to proliferate, you know, just the two drowns, but eh, it's still pretty cool. You could get the tribute out a little bit sooner, one turn sooner overall, right? So we have four Nizumi Prowlers. This is an artifact creature, two mana, three, one, and it has ninjutsu for one and a black. When it enters the battlefield, target creature, new control, gains death touch and lifelink until end of turn, which actually ends up being pretty decent. Whenever we played this in the past in some ninja builds, or a few different ninja builds, honestly, like, yeah, the death touch lifelink happens to be pretty good, honestly, so, nice. Couple infernal grasps, but this could be your removal of choice. If you really want it to be go for the throat, go for it, you know what I mean? If you want that fourth cut down and a single go for the throat, just whatever removal you want here totally works. You could go up to the four drown in Icors if you really, really like that. Honestly, if we like how the sagas work out in here, maybe I'll talk more about that in the final thoughts going up the four drown in Icors. So we have all four blight belly rats in here. This is a two mana two two with toxic one, and when it dies, you get to proliferate. Oh yeah, proliferate on this too. <laughs> kind of forgot about that. It, I guess it wouldn't happen as often if you have your well, it might happen if the opponent ends up blocking or something, and then your sagas activate. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. We do have that proliferate on the Blight Belly Rat I forgot about. We have two Nizumi Blade Blessers. This is a 3-mana three 3-2 three, that we literally never see. It has Death Touch as long as you control an artifact, uh, and it has Menace as long as you control an enchantment. Just like another interesting rat to have in here to hit off of the Rat King's ability and maybe give it toxic as well. You know, Menace Death Touch is very brutal <laughs> to block, so you might be able to get some good toxic damage through with this. And we also have a single Vraska's Fall in here. Just having an ability to have the opponent sacrifice a creature or planeswalker seems decent and maybe a way to give some more poison. Yeah, seems fine. 24 total land, 22 of them as a swap. We have a single Abandoned Mire, which is a good reason to hit yourself with the mill on the Vermin. Then we have a single Mirax in here too. Uh, being able to create more toxic creatures that are also artifacts, that works with the Blade Blesser, right? So as far as artifacts for the Blade Blesser, it's the Prowler and the Bank Buster and the way to generate with Mirax. And then as far as enchantments for the Blade Blesser, it's the Tribute to Hirobi and the Okiba Reckoner Raid. And having that how much is that that is six artifacts and eight enchantments i don't think it would be worth having that one land to draw as well especially since we have double black in the rat king 
but maybe I should have put it in the honorable mention since we have no honorable mentions today, but either way, guys, it's a very simple deck. We're slamming down some rats. We're trying to get some good value from our mono black cards and hopefully great value off the Rat King when we see that on turn three every game, right? Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead, take this into some ranked and see how we do. All right, we'll see if we can get right into that first game here. It's Roadside Reliquary, right? That That's the land I was thinking about. Yeah, I should have put that in the honorable mentions, honestly. Because being able to draw a couple extra cards could be huge in a deck like this. But I don't think... I mean, I guess we have enough artifacts and enchantments overall, but at the same time, it doesn't really feel like it, you know? All right, we go first here. It's not a terrible hand. It's not that bad. Yeah, maybe we'll talk more about Roadside Reliquary in the, on, um, and we'll set honorable mentions again in the final thoughts. We do have quite a few one drops, so not seeing them this early is a little, oh, there's a one drop. Well, that's fine. We'll start with the tribute to Hirobi here. Ooh, potentially some mono blue. I haven't seen mono blue in a little while. This could be interesting, guys. Mono Blue might actually struggle struggle against the uh, Tribute. I apologize. I am butchering words this evening. I did it in the last video, too. They're swinging with my Rat Rogue. You monster. <laughs> okay, well, we have to anticipate a counter here, so I don't mind going gnawing vermin and keeping the Infernal Grasp open if they go turn three Jin. I think that's way better than just letting them go make disappear on the Rat King. And, well, I mean, we definitely don't mill them. Y you do not want to mill Mono Blue by any means. Doing this is fine, and honestly, having the Vermin, maybe we want to have two Abandoned Myers in here? Or another potential way to bring stuff back from the grave, but probably not. Losing these kind of kind of sucks. Yeah, that's a little bit rough. Looks like they're not going to go gin this turn. They're going to keep it all open. Yeah, we'll take the two here. No worries. No worries at all. Okay, wow. Hey, another tribute. Wow. I mean, I'm down. Get our rat tokens. Thank you. And drop a swamp. I don't. I really don't mind the other tribute here, like at all. Maybe we should go draw first. Wouldn't mind getting the toxic on the vermin. Get the ball rolling there. I really think this is just gonna eat a counter, though. So I'm just gonna swing. We're gonna actually draw, as well. See what we hit. We don't have to draw, though. You know what? I convinced myself otherwise. Going wide against mono blue is actually huge. And then having the extra rats, once we are able to get the Rat King down, is pretty good, too. So I like getting tribute number two down and keeping the Infernal Grasp open. So if they have Jin in hand, then they wanted the fourth island to protect it. And so when they drop the Jin and they have the fourth island open, we go Infernal Grasp onto the Jin. Uh, they counter it with their last open island, and then we're able to drop the Rat King next turn. Is what I'm thinking, at least. And then at that point, hopefully we're just wide enough with our rats. Which I could totally see. They're contemplating on what to discard here. I, I mean, that's a lot of cards in their hand, so... Wow, Fading Hope was one of them. And to slip out the back, too. They go for a Consider. They must not have the Djinn available. Or, yeah, it's going to be the one on the ground, the Serpent, right? Man, I've been struggling with card names. 
Yeah, the uh, Tolarian Terror. Okay, well, Infernal Grasp does not hit the Terror, unfortunately. Oh, no. Oh, no, guys. Two of them. Yeah, the Ward 2 on that makes it a big old pain in the butt. At least we have Swinging in the Air with Echo of Death's Wail. Yeah, the Ward 2 is super duper rough. And even if we... Huh... How do I want to do that now? Yeah, two of them. One of them we could have dealt with. Two of them is pretty tricky. At least we have chump blockers. I think now's the time. I'm gonna swing in the air. Now's the time to go ahead, ditch one of our tokens, get a draw. A swamp isn't terrible. At least we're not. At least we're not drawing it next turn, right? Or seeing it with the Rat King's ability. Two mana open for the Infernal Grasp. It just doesn't hit those terrors. We might actually just go for taking the damage here, too. Hey, look at that. Woohoo! Restock that hand. <laughs> and the Blight Belly Rat can hit now. Pretty good. Hitting three rats with the Rat King is nasty business, guys. Hotty Jin hits now. Yeah, Mono Blue, just as scary as I remember it. It really has been a second, though. We might honestly double block a Terror. We might. Swings keeps blockers. I'm gonna let these hit because I'd rather have the Rats next turn from the Tribute. And because they have Jin, they technically have like three mana available, kind of, sort of, you know? Another Swamp isn't too bad. I'm gonna try to hit that Jin with the Infernal Grasp. It's gotta be a counterspell. It really, really does have to be a counterspell, doesn't it? That's a lot of Toxic on our board, but getting past those Terrors is a big ol' pain. Alright, we're gonna attempt hitting the Hottie Djinn, and it, it really, like, it's a counter. I can't imagine this not being a counter spell. Negate, yep. Okay, so... Let's think here, let's think. We have a double block in the Echo. Since these are tapped, it doesn't seem worth, like, full swinging. So just getting the gnawing vermin down. We try to restock our hand with Rat King number two, but... Hmm. Honestly, the Reckoner Raid could have been pretty good. I hope the opponent is liking my deck so far. Yeah, because we could swing with the Echo of Death's Whale. We get, they block one, we get three through down to ten, and we could draw a couple times. But I think we hold back, and I hope that's the best, I hope that's the best thing, because these are going to untap. That's a lot of toxic. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight toxic on the board. They have two blockers over here, though. The proliferate on the blight belly. Second thirst for discovery, scary business. Consider, yep, sure. That gin's getting nice and chunky. We have to find our way through, guys. We really, really do. Maybe it's just start to full swing, and but well, that there's a big problem with the full swinging. They have so much damage on the board. Yeah, no swings. Um, Prowler. Ninjutsu? On the Prowler could be pretty good. Send like a Echo of Death's Whale back to our hand. I feel like the longer this goes on, the more it's gonna lean towards the opponents, right? But at any point, this Hottie Jin could just wrap up the game for them because it's not too bad to get it up to like 15 damage. They could play uh, Hottie Jin number two as well. Apologize opponent, I am thinking let me see. Nice, thank you. Um, gain a couple from the Prowler. They don't know what's in hand. 
think this is mono blues. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna full swing. We're gonna keep the um Ah whatever, let's just full swing. <laughs> <laughs> they don't entirely know what's in hand. We can play Rat King number two. Uh, we're going to decline twice here. I would love to draw more, but I think it's completely fine. Yeah, they, they don't know what's in our hand. They have two mana open. I think this is Mono Blue's game, and maybe we'll be able to see something depending on where they block here. So we have two cards that are mysteries to them. A bunch of open mana, so they don't know if we have like spot removal here. They bounce the Rat King back to stop the poison. But we still, I mean, it's still a good chunk of, good chunk of everything else here. Okay. Two blocks on the ground. So we got three, we have seven damage going through. Um, let's go ahead, make that damage a little bit more. And instead of doing this, we'll bounce a Vermin. A little bit more damage. We still have five mana available, guys. Five mana. So we could go Rat King. And let's give Death Touch to you and hope they don't have another Fading Hope. <laughs> they do. They have something to protect it. Yep, another Fading Hope. Crap. Well, I guess that... Could, that might not be too bad. Down to four. Proliferate doesn't do anything because they got rid of our Toxic from the Rat King. Um, they have 11 damage in the sky. Which I'm assuming is probably just going to be max damage. Like, you know, uh, what is it? Yeah, Thirst for Discovery number three. Get a blocker on the ground. Nice. Two more Prowlers to hand is excellent. We don't want to do a Tribute. We probably just want Gnawing Vermin as another blocker on the ground, I guess. Right? Target ourselves. Oh, there goes our Abandoned Mire. Yeah, maybe we do want abandoned, two Abandoned Mires in here because of the Vermin. There's for Discovery number three. Yep. I think they're going to be able to get 15 in the air. And if they can't, then I think they'll be able to find a way to bounce either the rat or the vermin here. We had a... I feel like that swing was pretty solid overall. We had a good chance that they didn't actually have the third fading hope. How do you guys feel about that? Maybe if we would have only swung with one echo of death's whale, kept the other one back? No, no. Well, maybe, because then the Prowler would have come down, we would have given it Death Touch, they would have bounced that one, and we still would have had the other blocker in the air. Yeah, maybe if we would have kept one Echo back as an emergency blocker, but there's no guarantees that they wouldn't have found the fourth Fading Hope too, so... I don't know, man. I, I feel like the deck did pretty great there, overall. Mono Blue is always a tough opponent, and so... Yeah, I think that could have gone either way. They didn't need to have the third Thirst for Discovery either, or the Impulse for that matter. The double uh, Talarian Terrors blocking on the ground early on there was huge for them too, so... I don't know. I like the deck so far. I, th I feel like it's performing well, and the Rat King hits a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of rats to hit, and five cards is actually a lot more than you'd consider. Or than, or than you'd think, right? All right, turn one Reckoner Raid, turn two Bank Buster, or Tribute. Or second Tribute tells me maybe we just go Tribute, get that rolling a little bit sooner here. Some Toxic Selesnia, potentially. Duelist? Nope, nothing, wow. Uh, Mirix is fine, I'll hold on to it for now. To like next turn. Here you go, buddy. Have a little rat. There you go. <laughs> What's scary about the tribute is, um, of course, destroy enchantment card because they can always destroy it and then just keep my rats. It's gonna be some Selesnia toxic. Oh, never mind. 
beast collar. Weird. Okay, have another rat. There you go. And I suppose we can get the ball rolling right now with the Rat King. Or we could go second tribute. Grab three rats off of this. Well, they... Uh, I don't know. Alright, we'll get the Murex down this turn. Which can tap for our black mana for the vermin. Let's do this. Tribute number two. Have a rat. Vermin. Target self. I guess. Oh, nice. Yeah, get that land out of here. I don't like ditching the Reckoner raid, but... All right. <laughs> My, uh, like, Selesnia colors can easily have enchantment removal. No, this looks like just some Selesnia aggro, which is pretty scary overall. Um, So, we are going to be able to block really well here and take out that Skrelv this turn. So that's good. It's a great block for us. Terrific. Minus one, minus one to the Skrelv. Nice. It is out of here. Another land off the top. Uh-oh. So we want this to be first. Have a rat. Now those are my rats. Thank you very much. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff, man. Um, we can always activate the Mirex, but I think we also have Bankbuster if we want to activate that. Or draw first, too. That works. But I think we get the rat down so we can swing with the Road Captain and get some Toxic through as well. Wow. Hitting another three cards there is insane. Do we want to draw? Sure. Then again, going nice and wide here. That Rat King. I'm gonna decline. I think I think the poison. <laughs> I think the extra poison on all these rat tokens is pretty insane. And so we're just doing the same thing as last game where Echo of Death's Whale. It's like they're gonna hit the Rat King though. So now we could potentially Now we could consider sacrificing some of the one ones, but the opponent is getting pretty low too. They just took some more damage as well. And chump the Adeline. Let's go no blocks, take five. We have the Prowler's Life Link here, which is pretty good. And we have six in the air. We can always bounce one. They're going to be blocking something here. They know we have the Prowler's the thing. Playing a Blightbelly Rat wouldn't be too bad. I think we just stay wide. We're going to decline. Our hand is nice and stocked already. I think we just stay wide here. We'll go... They have to double block Road Captain, so they probably don't. Oh, they can't. Because the Mike can't block. So it's a lot of damage. And then we'll give Death Touch Lifelink to the one hitting Adeline, probably. Oh, they are going to double block the Road Captain. Yeah, they don't want us to send it back. But now, that is 10 damage going through to face. So it just ends up wrapping up the game here by going Ninjutsu on one of the 1-1s. One that is 12 damage, and we'll just give... Uh, th that's fine. Give it to anything. That was cool, man. Nice. Very nice. Taking out Selesnia Agro. <laughs> Pretty much what the deck was supposed to do. Which was really... Yeah, that... Yeah, that was great. <laughs> they really wanted to remove the Rat King there to get rid of all the toxic stuff. But then we had so much flying in the air that it just ended up being a little bit ridiculous. A little bit overwhelming for the opponent. Having that ninjutsu when you're going wide with those 1-1s one and just being able to pay that 2 mana, get rid of one of those 1-1s one and have it be a 3-1 swinging through is just absolutely deadly as well. Uh, using that as a combat trick too. Yeah, worst hand of the evening, hands down, we go first. It's 
it could be keepable, but I want something better. Let's mulligan. I uh, see much, much better. So we'll actually ditch one of the Rat Kings so we can try out the Blade Blesser this game too. Besides, it's legendary, so keeping two Rat Kings doesn't make too much sense. And we might go turn to Bank Buster here. Swamp. All right, Bank Buster. Since that could be a cut down, playing Blight Belly right into a cut down seems a little bit worse than just going right into the Bank Buster when we want it. And Blade Blesser could hit, but I think just playing the Rat King is completely fine. Power up Bank Buster, swing for four. Oh, we didn't see anything this time off the Rat King. Yeah, it'll happen every now and then. Not seeing anything there is a, is a little bit heartbreaking, but it, it will happen every now and then for sure, especially since the sagas don't count. Instantly remove the Rat King, and we have four mana available. Start with a draw, play Blight Belly. Start with the draw. I think that's fine. And Blight Belly. Yeah, more mana is a little bit rough. I could see going down to 23 mana in here for sure. Uh, do I want a counter on the Bank Buster? I don't think so. How do I not select Submit Zero? Could give them another counter, but it's fine. I think, I think not doing anything with the Bank Busters is completely fine there. Like, if we give ours a counter, sure, we can draw more, but we are trying to be a little bit aggressive, so. Cliffs, huh? Here we go. Start with... We could start Blade Blesser, then try to swing with Bank Buster, so you don't want to play a Tribute first because they can chump with the 1-1. Screw this up. Go for the throat doesn't hit Bank Buster. Yeah, they just have more removal, I guess. Maybe... Oh, no. It's probably another go for the throat then. So I'm assuming the Blade Blesser is going to get hit. Tribute is totally fine here. And this now has Death Touch and Menace, which is very, very cool. Invoke Despair. Oh no, gobbles up so much of our board state and they get to keep the 1-1. One, one. We should have known that it was probably going to be an Invoke Despair though. The 6th Swamp hits the board, which is pretty bad, guys. We definitely need to talk about uh, going down at least one Swamp. Maybe two Swamps and then go up a Roadside Reliquary since we see how easy it actually is to get those artifacts and enchantments on the board. <gasps> Invoke Despair number two. This is bad news, guys. We need to see a creature off the top here. It is another land. Start with a draw. Uh, Blight Belly. Okay. Get that Blight Belly on the board. Next turn, the Bank Buster will produce us a treasure and a pilot. Yeah, we got the proliferate again. I wouldn't mind proliferating their bank buster. <gasps> and an abrade. Oh no, guys. Here, have a counter on your bank buster. There you go, buddy. There you go. We're super dead. Oh, we, we just, we completely ran out of fuel. Um, the Rat King missing everything put us a lot of cards behind. The Double Invoke Despair was a nail in the coffin at that point, but then they found removal for days. Blight Belly's a decent draw, but yeah, them hitting the Bank Buster with the Abrade and everything. Rakdos looks like it's in a great spot, man. Uh, third Invoke is actually death here. GG opponent. Have another counter on your Bank Buster. There you go. Good game. You know, a deck like that deserves my favorite uh, emote. <laughs> I didn't click it fast enough, but dang. Woo, that was a lot of removal packed in, man. That was a lot of removal for them. I'm loving this deck, dude. Little rats everywhere. 
I'm having a good time. It's too bad we don't have more rat tribal cards overall to try to pack in here, but like, it's pretty cool. I especially really like the tribute. Like if you can pull off the tribute, then it is really cool. Good hand. Start with that Reckoner raid. Get the ball rolling. Yeah, I'm having a good time with this one, guys. Bankbuster's a terrific draw. Absolutely terrific draw. Is this going to be more Rakdos? That's a little scary, honestly. All right. Let's see if we hit anything with the Rat King this time. Oh, we sure do. Oh, we sure do. Oh my goodness. Let's screw this on up. Swing for four. All right. Hitting three cards with the Rat King is just so good. So, so good. Up against potential removal tribal is terrifying, though. Um, so crewing up Bank Buster might make more sense so we don't run into... Like, we're not too worried about the Toxic here. We're just trying to get damage through. And this makes it so that way a go for the throat doesn't hit. Like, I think this is fine. And they know we have the Prowler, too. Let's see what happens. Because, yeah, if we just swung with Rat King, kept Bank Buster back, then we could have potentially drawn off Bank Buster, but I don't think we need that. And now if they use removal, they'd want to hit Bank Buster instead of the Rat King, which could be good. Uh, X is four. So we could take out our own Bank Buster so they don't gain four, but I don't think that'll be worth it at all. Yep, that hits. That hits. We're going to go ahead and keep our cut down open and replay the Road Captain. Let's give you the lifelink. Get that hit. Keep that cut down open. How do we feel about that? That seems pretty good. If this is more Rakdos like we saw in the last game, then we have to be ready for the Invoke Despairs to start hitting, which does appear to be able to rip this deck apart. So we got to be very careful with the Despairs. Fifth mana. I mean, honestly, when you're drawing so much off the Rat King sometimes, then you like to have that extra mana, but then, yeah, 24 still kind of seems to be too much. Um, So 23, yeah, I, I think 23 would work for the build, but there, there's going to be some games then where you can't do multiple things that you want to do. You think this is the type of deck that runs Brotherhood's End? Nothing for us to hit with the cut down is kind of a shame. Our third Blight Belly Rat. Well, I can only expect Rat King to perish here. They do have a draw on the Bank Buster. Cut down on Prowler. Okay. Rat King might actually be okay. Hitting for three. Back down to ten. Blight Belly Rat number one. Blight Belly Rat number two. They knew we had both of these, so... And Cut Down is still open. Road Captain flips next turn, but it's not Kumano, so it doesn't have haste. Get a draw on the Bank Buster and prepare for the Invoke Despair. Oh, actually, they don't have the mana for an Invoke. Sanders Lounge. The... Good thing we have Infernal Grasp here. The game automatically stops nowadays, right? At the beginning, I feel like I should full control, just in case. Oh, it does. It automatically stops. So they want to corrupt Bank Buster to have a blocker. But we want to do Infernal Grasp before we take extra damage. And we could draw more removal here, too. That's not bad. So these have double the toxic. 
If we full swing, they block Rat King and take 4 toxic damage, as well as 4 damage in general. <clears throat> we're probably getting to the point where we're in trouble, like far enough in the game where the opponent could have it. Proliferate on all the Blight Bellies and everything. I think it's worth it. We might actually get there with the poison. If we would have kept Rat King back, they would have blocked one of the Blight Bellies. We would have had the Proliferate and still had the Rat King on board. You know what we could have done? We could have played Vermin and played Cut Down on the Vermin to take out their Bank Buster. That could have been a cool one. I'm going to keep Cut Down open. Here's why. This is the type of deck that runs the Blood... Um, but man, like I said, I've been struggling with names today for some reason. I apologize. The two mana vampire. Hey, there we go. Taking down Grixis something or Rakdos Splash of Blue. Rakdos Splash of Make Disappear. I honestly I have no idea, but yeah. Very cool, guys. Let's try to get one more match in. The matches have been pretty fast and the rats have been aggressive, which makes me just so happy. I've been having a blast this week. Yesterday's video was um, Orzov Poison or, or Orzov Toxic with a potential turn three victory. We didn't get that turn three victory, but it is a very, very fun deck, a very fast one. And so, yeah, th this week has been a lot of fun for me so far. Great hand. Yeah, terrific hand. Hello, opponent. Vermin, I choose you. Target self. Raskus fall. <laughs> yeah, vermin targeting self is a little sketchy, so I do like the idea of changing up the mana base a little bit here. We start with the swing. We want to anticipate a counter spell. Bankbuster might be better than tribute then. So I'd rather tribute hit. Eh. Bankbuster's pretty good against... Oh, okay, nice. I was going to say, if it's going to be control or anything like that, then Bankbuster's much better against a list like that, I guess, because it helps us draw into the mid-game. It depends, though. They don't save it as a blocker, so that's good news. Three mana open. We can play Rat King. Reckoner Raid and Reckoner Bank Buster is pretty good. That's right, they have the blocker there anyways. Alright. Start with Bank Buster. See if they... Nope, nothing. Okay. Okiba Reckoner Raid. And no attacks. <laughs> so next turn, we get our rats. We get a potential 3-3 swinging in, but they could also have... Wandering Emperor open then. They're going to keep blockers. No, nope, they're going to swing. I was going to say, if they keep blockers, then maybe it's not a Wandering Emperor, but we'll take the two. It's got to be. It, it, it's got to be Wandering Emperor, right? We have to be prepared for board wipes here soon, too. If they Wandering Emperor the Echo, then I think that's okay. We could drop Rat before combat to start the Toxic rolling through. And if it lands, then we can power up Bank Buster too to give him a decision. I just, I like playing the other Tribute this turn. That's the first stick of the game, so it's gotta be Wandering Emperor because they got their fourth mana out, you know? It's gotta be. Uh, aw, well, at least we saw something, though. I can't complain. As long as you get something. We're up that bank buster. Yeah, maybe they'll have a decision to make here. And let's actually draw. Because if we don't, and we run right into a board wipe next turn or something, then pretty bad. Pretty bad. So we want to keep our hand nice and stocked is the idea here. Either Bankbuster or Echo, and I think it's going to be... Oh! I was leaning towards the Echo, but Bankbuster makes sense. 
We have one poison. We're not trying to win with the poison, but maybe we should be. Nah, not anymore. Rat King is out of here. Woo! Doubling down on the lay down arms. Uh, completely leaving us empty here. Need to find something. Okay. They go for the T2. Sounds great. That's a great draw. Hit for two. It's too bad it's not poisonous. It's worth cutting this down, I would say. To get the swing in, I think that's totally fine. Swing. Down to 13. We're playing it all. Next turn could be a farewell. But keeping everything in hand and letting these three die to a farewell isn't much better, guys. If they have that thir farewell right on right on time for turn six, then it is what it is. That That's my concept right now. Oh, Make Disappear was still in their hand. Surprised that didn't come down sooner. They must have just drawn it. Yeah, no six mana. That's good news for us, guys. Good news. <laughs> but then bad news with the Rat Rogues since they block very well right now. Yeah, we're just going to play everything. And prepare for a big old chunky swing next turn. So like I said, it's the same concept, man. Even if you hold stuff back against a farewell, when you're playing a deck like this, it doesn't matter too much. Even if they hit less cards after the farewell, it's it's probably too late anyways. And we're to that point in the game where it's leaning towards the opponent anyways. So right now they could find the land and the farewell that they need from the memory. So yeah, I guess I guess this is it. I'm scared, guys. <laughs> oh, we're alive. Probably some removal then is what I'm anticipating. Uh, Reckoner Raid's a great draw. Literally anything like that is terrific. Removal, second Wandering Emperor. Um, this is a full swing, hands down, no questions asked. Get that draw in. Nice, another tribute. Wandering Emperor number two is gonna hit that Echo of Death's Whale. Um, do we still play everything? See, Wandering Emperor survives or farewells the biggest issue. Oh! Oh! Okay. They stop the Toxic and we have a Proliferate go through. Oh, okay, that's interesting. I mean, now we can't Proliferate like the Tribute when we play that, so... Submit one. They're at three. Is there a reason to hold back? If they drop the farewell, can we still get three damage through next turn? But technically, no. If they drop a depopulate, see, that's a possibility too. Um, if it's a depopulate and we don't have anything on the board, that's pretty bad. Man, well, they missed... They didn't have Farewell last turn, which I think would have been the play. I think we play it all. I know, it's so risky. It's so risky. I think we just play it all, guys. Because now we're, we're... By having stuff here and ready, we played around to depopulate. <laughs> That's the thought process. Um... All right, it's not a farewell. They used their Wandering Emperor. They're back up to four. Ossification hit the menace, the biggest menace. Yep. Nice. So they're going back down to three. They'll have two blockers. Maybe we should have kept the tribute back, actually. Huh. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe we should have. Because now if they have removal in hand, because they have block, block, we have three go through, or they block, block, three go through. So removal in hand is all they need, and they remove a lot here. So we still risk it. We still swing, man. We're too far in. We are too far in against control. So this is potential removal, and that's okay. This this has haste, too, guys. Tribute to Hirobi comes in as a 3-3 three, three flying haste. 
March doesn't gain him life. Down to two. Keep the swamp in hand for no other reason other than them not knowing what's in our hand. More mana. They have one card. Does, does the hasty card do it? Infernal Grasp? Their last card could be another Wandering Emperor. It really could be. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Infernal Grasp is a great draw. Memory Deluge, they have one mana open. Come on, guys. Come on. What are they searching for? Like a Fading Hope would do it, right? Decline. They drop a GG. Let's go! Good game, buddy. Good game. That was fun, man. I feel like we won a lot today. Maybe not. I, I kind of forget. I feel like this is the type of deck where you're a winner even when you lose. That's <laughs> that's what it feels like, right? Let's go ahead and go over the deck list here one more time. Mono Black Rat King. Really, really fun. I actually think the four Rat Kings was completely fine. Even when we saw two of them, it, it was fine. Like the opponent... Puts a big target on the Rat King's back anyways, and you know, the Toxic when you're going so wide with all these extra rats is actually pretty deadly, so they need to remove it. And then you just have another one, you play that out, you get potentially even more rats out of your deck, so seems cool, man. Uh, I think maybe we do want to talk more about more proliferate cards to get the Sagas rolling a little faster. If you can get this Tribute to Hirobi out just a turn sooner than it's supposed to, since it has haste, I think, yeah, it's definitely worth talking about another Drown to Icor and dropping an Infernal Grasp, or just find another Proliferate card. There's a lot of uh, Proliferate in Mono Black, right? Um, I think so, at least. Maybe not. I mean, we have the Whisper of Dross. That could potentially do a thing. It is instant speed. It could act as um, a potential combat trick, too. This does not... Yeah, that does not fit. Um, oh, the Vat Emergence could be cool. Five mana sorcery. You get to put a creature card from your graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. So you could grab something from your opponent's grave too. And then you do get that Proliferate. But it's five mana and it's sorcery speed. So probably not. But that could be cool, especially since you're sending stuff to the grave with gnawing vermin too. Which leads me to... Oh, Varaska on the top end could be cool. But this is an aggressive deck. And so, yeah, that's a lot of mana. That is a lot of mana. So what I would lean towards is a third Drown in Ichor. I think that could be cool. And if you really want to try it out, Whisper of Drost could be neat. And it depends what you're seeing too, because Whisper of Drost actually does hit a lot of things. <laughs> like it takes care of like Phoenix Chick and stuff like that. So you never know when that extra proliferate might come in handy, especially if you have your sagas on the board. So a big thing is actually the mana that I wanted to go over here. I think you could drop one land and go up like a roadside reliquary. That could be cool. I was actually shocked to see that we had an artifact and an enchantment on the board more often than not. And if you are ending up flooding out at all, then, you know, roadside reliquary can help you draw into more. And then against those mid-range decks too, helps you sustain yourself a little bit better. Yeah, it, it seems silly that I didn't include this now that I'm looking at it. So Roadside Reliquary <laughs> in the mana base. And so I would drop two Swamp though. I would drop two Swamp, go up one Reliquary. That'll give you 23 land. And then if you do want that 24th, go up another Abandoned Mire. Just having that extra utility land, it isn't going to hold you back too often uh, as a legendary land. And since you're plugging cards into your grave anyways with the Vermin, now don't forget you can target your op opponent too, but some opponents appreciate that especially like that mono blue opponent so vermin is probably just target yourself so having a second abandoned mire could totally be fine very cool one guys i really enjoyed it we didn't get to see Veraska's fall do anything today uh blade blesser really was just there to power up bank buster today which is uh, totally fine <laughs> yeah that's the big thing roadside reliquary maybe a second abandoned mire and a third drown in Icor for more proliferate on the, on the field. So, yeah, 
I loved this one, guys. I know I, I sound like a broken record at this point, but it was really fun just slamming down rats and having a good time with it. I don't think I've literally seen a single rat build uh, in standard uh, on or, or on in my games. You know what I mean? So, yeah, this was good. I had a lot of fun. If you made it this far into the video, y'all are champions for real. Holy cow. What are you doing here? Thank you so much. I will see you in the next video.